Welcome back to Morning Break. In today's Monday Motivation, sponsored by Gates Brain Health, we, have, of course, have Dr. Randall Gates, board-certified chiropractic physician and chiropractic neurologist, joining us live. And, Dr. Gates, today you're talking to us about something that's pretty interesting mm -hmm. called tinnitus. It's, yeah. you know, a condition that impacts your hearing. Um, it can be really annoying. Oh, yeah. So thank you so much for being here and just informing us, educating us on this Monday. So what exactly is tinnitus? Tinnitus is hearing a sound in the ear when there's not an actual cause of the sound, okay. internal or external to the body. Right, yes. That's what it is. It can have many different uh, qualities to it, mm -hmm. a high pitch ringing, a low pitch ringing, a whooshing sound, yeah. um, a roaring sound, all of those are qualities of tinnitus. Okay, yeah, so it just sounds annoying and can really impact mm -hmm. somebody's day overall. Yeah. Um, I actually know somebody okay. who had an issue with earwax buildup and then they started to experience, I don't know if it was exactly tinnitus, okay. but heard that like ringing in the ears uh -huh. um, and then they eventually, you know, it got so bad they had to go to their doctor to get it resolved. So I guess what should people, you know, look out for? What should they do when they start experiencing those symptoms that you just described? Well, I think it's a great example. Yeah. So if the ringing is in one ear, that's a red flag. Mm -hmm. If it goes on longer than six months, yeah. these are factors that prompt evaluation or a need mm -hmm. for evaluation. Mm -hmm. um, so I would say that's the standard guideline that most doctors go off of. One ear, we need to look into it further because it might be something medical going on like that. Mm -hmm. um, if it's both ears going on longer than six months, we need to look into it more. Usually it starts with a hearing evaluation. Mm -hmm. And then if we're seeing hearing loss on one side only with the uh, ringing, then we oftentimes look into further neuroimaging because we can actually get benign tumors oh, wow. on the cochlear nerve. We can actually have arteriovenous malformations. Mm. in that area of the brain that can cause sensations of tinnitus. And particularly if it's a pulsating tinnitus, that's definitely a big red flag, kind of okay. like a ding, ding, ding. When doctors hear patients say that, we really need to look into the case further and quickly. Mm -hmm. Good to know. Um, in terms of treatments, once you, you know, yeah. get into the doctor's office, what does Gates Brain Health usually do in terms of solving this issue. I'm with you. Yeah. Uh, what I will say is that on the medical side, really the main medical treatment are things like hearing aids if somebody has lost hearing. Actually cognitive behavioral therapy is one of the main treatments mm -hmm. to help people deal with the stress of the tinnitus because a lot of people become hyper focused on the tinnitus. Mm -hmm. I have a different approach and particularly we're seeing a lot more tinnitus it seems in the literature in this post pandemic era. Mm, okay. And there's question of, you know, the viruses that have been going on in the last four years, if they are associated with more tinnitus, causing tinnitus. Mm -hmm. So I dig into the health history pretty deep with patients, and I also use different kind of brain exercises. Uh, we try those out with patients with tinnitus who are not responding and see how mm -hmm. they do. That's really good to know. Yeah, I after guess. a full neurological evaluation. Of Go course, ahead. Yeah. of course, yeah. yeah. And so in terms of people maybe scheduling appointments with yeah. Gates Brain Health, yeah, I yeah. feel like in the, t you know, in the past couple of times you've been on, we have haven't really, you know, refreshed okay. people. Yeah, so yeah. what do people need to know when it comes to yeah. making an appointment with Gates Brain Health? Absolutely. So give us a call, 775-507-2000. Yeah. Um, we're there ready for your call. You can email us at info at gatesbrainhealth.com. You can go on our website. We have submission forms. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, we're, we're ready to help people. And we have a lot of experience and helped a lot of people in Northern Nevada mm -hmm. and many other locations too. Yeah, well great. Yeah. Thank you so much, Dr. Gates. Really great to, you know, learn a little bit more about you know, a challenge that people may be facing every right. single day. Right, yeah. And so now that we're putting a name to what it could be, it's really great. So thank you so much. We'll have all your information on great. our website at colotv.com. We'll be right back after this quick break.